Hey everyone, my name is Amelia Newcomb and today we're talking about how to ask your horse to canter. So when you ask your horse to canter from the trot, this can be kind of an exciting transition because it's a big step up from the trot to the canter. So you want to make sure that you ask correctly. The first thing before you ask your horse to canter is you want to make sure that you're sitting on your inside seat bone. So your inside seat bone helps weight the inside part of the horse's body, which allows them to pick up the correct canter lead. And then you move your outside leg slightly behind the girth. You keep your inside leg at the girth and you kind of squeeze a little with both legs to ask the horse to canter. So let me show you if I'm asking Let's see, I'll turn sideways. So if I'm asking for right lead canter, my leg will go from about this position to maybe about here for the canter aid. So it's from here to here. It's not a huge thing. It's not like you want, you don't want to put, have to put your leg back here in the horse's flank because if you put your leg that far back, it's going to tip you forward. So it's just kind of a subtle, slight motion of maybe four to six inches your leg at the girth and your leg back behind the girth. Your outside leg indicates for the canter lead. So let me show you. We'll get going here. So it's important too that before you ask for canter you have a good trot going. The easiest place to ask for canner is on a circle. So if you have a green horse or you're a green rider, you're gonna be asking for canner on a circle line to start with. Here I'm going to the right, which means I'm gonna be taking the right lead canner. And that means that the right front leg and the right hind leg are gonna be going forward first when he's cantering. So while I'm trotting around here, I'm making sure that he's off of my right leg and into my left rein, that he's filling up my left rein, that I can give my right rein, that he's bent in the body to the right. Then I'm gonna get a nice sitting trot going and trying to keep exactly the same trot as I'm sitting. And lots of horses, when you sit, they'll wanna change their trot a little, put their head up. I sit on my right seat bone I close my right leg at the girth, my left leg slightly behind the girth, and canter. So he picked up canter there, but it really wasn't a very good transition. His head came up, he got a little braced. So here in the canter, I'm just finding that nice frame. I'm thinking about my seat. The canter motion is kind of a rocking horse motion. So my seat swishes from the back to the front of the saddle. And then for the canter trot, I'm gonna squeeze my thighs together, stop moving so much, and then reestablish my nice trot. So here again, I'm getting him to bend around my inside leg. I want him off of my right leg and into my left rein. A nice frame, a nice steady trot tempo. Before I ask for the canner, I'm sitting on my right seat bone. I push him a little off my right leg. My left leg goes a little back and he picks up a nice canner. So for right lead canner, you're thinking right seat bone, left leg slightly back, inside leg at the girth. It's important that you have both legs asking your horse to canner because if you just use your outside leg, your horse is gonna fall in. So now I'll show you a departure for left lead canter. So I'm getting my horse bending nicely on a circle left. He's off my left leg, into my right rein. I'm gonna half halt, slide my right leg a little back now, sit on my left seat bone for left lead canter. A boy. And the motion of the trot and the canner are very different. The trot's a two beat gait, like kind of bouncy. The canner is more like a rocking horse. Then for the trot, I squeeze my thighs together. Trot transition. I'll show you one more time that canner transition. 
So I half out outside rain, slide my right leg back a little bit, and ask for that canner. Boy, you want your canner transition seamless, so you saw how he went from a nice trot. You want your canner transitions to be seamless, so you saw how he went from a nice steady trot right into a nice steady canner. And there you saw he broke a little. And I just quickly asked for canner again. This horse is pretty green. He has not had too much dressage training. Good boy. Good. So that's how you ask your horse to canter.